has been a typical formation for this group. Four changes to the 11 from last match, headlined by a change in net. In a 4-4-2 formation, which is a signature of this club and that pressing style they want to implement. Four changes for head coach Bobby Murphy's group. One to note, Caden Glover earning the start up top. There's the opening whistle kickoff. This one underway between St. Louis City 2 and the Tacoma Defiance. Foul called there on the far side as St. Louis City was able to turn Tacoma over. It's Quilla Washington, Starfire Stadium, the site of today's matchup with opposite momentum just in terms of their recent play. However, Tacoma playing much better in their last two matches, even though they did drop their last one to Ventura County, two to three the scoreline. They played in short. Ball back on the ground. Cosa Rienzi serves it in. St. Louis able to head it away. Three goals against five saves. This match though very quickly going from side to side from one box to the other. So far high pace to play here in the early going. Race for St. Louis City two. On the start last match as well. This is his sixth of the season with the second team. Decision making, it's a learning process, and that's exactly what MLS Next Pro Play is for. But Oliveris on a first team contract, really impressive with City 2. Two penalty kick wins and a clean sheet during that span. Was injured for a stretch of 10 games. So that thwarted his overall numbers on the season as a foul is called here right in the middle of the pitch. Tacoma plays short. Manungu, a 1v1 with Jaden Reed, outside back for the St. Louis side, who does earn the free kick going the other way, in his words. But they since have come back and responded. 1-0 win over the Town FC in a really good performance for City 2. And then coming off a 3-2 win over Colorado last Sunday. A tough place to play Colorado is. Battle here on the other end. St. Louis trying to get into the area. Whistle blows foul cold, but it is going the other direction. Tacoma. Here comes Tacoma, crossing in, gets through. Anungu plays it down into the corner, trying to run it down there is what you're going for, whether it comes via possession or transition. Whistle blows here right around midfield. St. Louis ball. So the MLS Next Cup playoffs are coming up in a week. So that's also going to pull out some of the top academy players from a lot of these MLS Next Pro sides. Sadness stepping in, filling a big void. Crossing in. Oh, and the finish just isn't there. Golden. St. Louis tries to respond with a chance of their own. Cross, or rather a shot sent out of play. John Klein earning his team a corner kick. Just really good at preventing shots from being even fired through their shot blocking. Just a really, really good defensive unit. A lot of that comes from that pressure and that press. As a hard foul is called here, it looks like a yellow card is going to be issued as Fatashe went to the ground. That It can be just an individual effort as this ball goes through to Manungu, cuts middle. Cuts right. Manungu rips one just outside the near post. Corner kick coming. George you can see it here, the sharpness, the communication, the marking. Here though is some space in the box. City two players with their hands up wanting the offside call. Less clubs. You see players all over the league are in sec second team contracts. As there was some contact, Klein wanted a foul. Long shot fired wide. Tacoma, though, trying to use this possession. Oh, Aaron pass, big mistake. Klein running it down. Can St. Louis capitalize? Splitting two defenders, getting in and getting it through. John Klein opens the scoring for St. Louis City, two. High work rate, high press, 1-0 lead for the visitors.
It's an errant pass, an interception for St. Louis City 2. They've got numbers high up the field. John Klein with an elite piece of skill just bursting between two defenders, finds that little pocket to split them and then changes speed. Here's Brunel attacking that space, drawing two defenders. When he sees two eyes on him, he notices Georgie Manungu has space in behind, splits them. Header towards goal, doesn't have enough on it. Oliveri is able to collect. Really well done and well worked play by the Defiance and Snyder Brunel did a good job as he dribbled centrally, started to enter the 18, saw those two defenders with eyes on him coming to him, saw that space in between to slot the ball. Previous stops with Orlando City SC Academy, the NWSL site, Angel City SC. Also spent time with the University of Chicago as there's a couple of players on the ground getting chippy there on that far side. DeRoma having words with Seeley and then there's an extra push Seeley is going to receive a yellow card as you see him pick the ball up and have some words and there Daroma responds looking frustrated. Not much time remaining here in the first half and not much time at all as there's the whistle indicating the first 45 in the books between the Tacoma Defiance and St. Louis City SC Tust in the league out of 29 teams. So they are creating a high number of chances they are capitalizing. They're creating high quality chances in terms of being able to keep and get shots that are on frame. 70 corner kicks taken, also tied for the second most in the league is something that's a bit of an anomaly for this group. Although St. Louis City, as I pointed out, crossing in, header towards goal, almost goes in. Cleared high. Seconds into the second half. A near goal scoring chance. St. Louis City looking to double the One lead. of the times that teams are the most vulnerable and right after goals are scored. It can be easy to slip up. Maybe you have a momentary lapse, have a mental lapse of those moments after. And one side can also come Their 59 plus save percentage is the fifth worst in the league. They're also the sixth fewest, have the sixth fewest, fewest clearances. As the flag is up, indicating possibly an offsides call there, a foul. However, this Tacoma team also should be mentioned that they're coming off a very tough stretch of four away matches. So you're looking at a lot of travel that can be extremely taxing on the body. All over the country they've been as well. As here, Manungu wins it high up the field, cuts it back, cuts it back again. Two defenders on, swings in the cross, headed out. St. Louis able to win it back. That trip should lead to a yellow card, and it does as Klein goes down. Dropping three of their last four. However, could this be the opening shot deflected? Coach DSA mentioned that fatigue definitely has been an issue. They've been trying to keep that in mind when planning training sessions, keeping sessions to an hour or less, making sure that his players aren't overworking themselves. Manungu, great technical skill. Tries to get the cross in. Cleared high, but not out. Klein sends it up the field. coming to an end for too long though was they head to the town FC in their next match. So just a really, really tough splits two defenders. Nice fake. Now he goes end line trying to get the cross in or earn the corner. Ball still loose. Tashe switching fields put a lot on that ball but just kept in play beautifully. However, the pass forward to Manungu not on line. Push as that ball went out of play. Whistle blows, foul called. Players to be comfortable playing in tight spaces and being able to build out around a press and capitalize on the space that's left in behind. A lot of times when you get past the first line of pressure, the field opens up. His players also really good at dribbling 1v1, especially in the wide channels as we've talked a lot about Manungu in this match. He certainly has shown his ability to do that and really No whistle, some frustration from St. Louis. Play on. Patashe. Ball up to Manungu. 
Venugu crosses it in, headed away. Maybe trying to target Sousa there, running on that far post, just didn't quite get to him in time. Manungu. Two defenders on him. Earns the corner kick. Something else that Coach Yes has successfully has been in the outside. He is getting double teamed a lot, even triple teamed. You saw very quickly two defenders were drawn there to him. Batashe's cross, headed, saved, second ball. Still loose, in the box, shot blocked. Chaos in the 18. Sousa brings it down. His shot attempt blocked by Cam Seeley. Piece, the aftermath, Batashe sent it in. Service, middle of the 18. Skimmed off a couple of heads, going all the way through Manungu, trying to corral it. Manungu, there he is, two defenders on. Another cross sent in. Sousa. Daroma. Two defenders on. Oh, that's just great composure from Snyder Brunel. Brilliant. Sousa crosses it in. Dangerous spot. See Pierce up there replacing Cam Seeley. Came over from the earthquakes this season. 5'10 midfielder out of St. Charles, Missouri. Started last match, just 16 years old. Signed in 2023 to a homegrown player contract, the third in club history out of the academy. Up there in the attack. Pretty strong, good on the ball, has some size, can finish out of the air. Six feet tall. Whistle blows on the foul on that far side. Switching fields, nice ball. Beautiful ball played through the seams. Manungu, flag stays down. Manungu, shot, shot saved. Once again, some nice combination play here from the Defiance. Really well worked ball. Fatashe touches it around the keeper. An end line, a goal line save rather. Daroma with the second shot. The Defiance. Some discrepancy happening here with a St. Louis player on the ground and a yellow card being given. Mentioned things have been getting chippy here in this one. It's also represented and captain the U17 and U19 teams. Header goes high. Frustrating. Well, the sixth position has been playing outside back here for this Tacoma side, but he's so versatile he can play anywhere. Sousa. 1v1, serves in a high ball. Clearance made by St. Louis. City two on the counter. Ball ahead to Klein, Klein shoots, saved. Second ball, still up for grabs. Whistle blows, kick coming out. Brilliant save there by defiance keeper Lars Hellerin. Just a little dive to his right. Klein did strike it with a pretty good amount of pace. Probably didn't get it as far towards the corner as he would have liked. See some frustration there as he's bending over Here. after. Manungu cuts it back. Slots it across, shot blocked. Aquino on the second ball, sends it high. Another golden opportunity for Tacoma. They're knocking on the door of the equalizer. Here comes St. Louis. Certainly looked like a push from behind. It will be called, and another yellow card is going to be issued. Here's the play. There you see Joyner turning with the ball, and there definitely is a push from behind as he was approaching the 18, excessive enough to warrant the yellow. Both teams have to be careful with a number of players with yellow cards. Shot on goal, brilliant, and an even more brilliant save. Lars Hel Reed's cross, middle of the six, headed high. And here's a shot, a clean look, Hellerin denies. This one sent out of play once again, and it's going to be at Manungu. 
service, takes a deflection, bouncing across the box, the header, oh, but it's touched away. Brilliant save. Christian. There it is, the final whistle. St. Louis City escapes with the 1-0 victory over the Tacoma Defiance.